Hi, I'm Bob Gimlin. About three million years ago, some apes, like these, began to diverge into apes like this. Apes like this are hominids, as are chimps, gorilla, and orangutan, while upright apes, like this reconstruction of Lucy, are of human lineage and are more specifically referred to as hominin. Hominid. Hominin. There has been an ongoing debate as to whether this is a hominid-type creature, more ape-like, or a hominin-type creature, more man-like. The answer to this question, like most things Bigfoot, is fuzzy. But Bigfoot must be a hominid, or more ape-like than human-like. This is because humans, even at their earliest stages, required some degree of tools. Australopithecines used flint mapping to make tools out of stone or bone. The first true humans, Homo habilis, had spears and knives at a minimum. Shortly thereafter, Homo erectus and all other human species had clothing and large established home bases. It is unclear exactly when fire came into play, whether it was used opportunistically or whether it was maintained, but fire played a massive role in human survival. And Bigfoot clearly want nothing to do with fire and blades. And that, in my opinion, is Bigfoot's defining and most impressive feature, its ability to live without tools of any kind. Which is why it must be an ape. Humans simply aren't able to do that. Any human or human ancestor attempting to survive in North American wilderness with no tools or fire or shelter will die. Period. We gave up the brute force of muscle mass for the ability to thrust a spear. We lost hair because clothes worked better. We are dependent on our material resources. Sustained life without basic tools and shelter is unachievable by all gradients of humanity. Which is why Bigfoot, to the best of my understanding, is a hominid, or more ape-like than human-like. Apes do use sticks and stones as tools, but they don't manufacture them. They find an object that fits their need and use it. They don't make tools, they search for them. Like this orangutan, using a reed to spirit prey items. This doesn't mean they lack intelligence. Hominids may not make tools, but this only makes them more resourceful with what they find. An impressive German study paired apes against young people. A nut was placed in the bottom of a tube that was secured to the table in a locked room. Of a couple dozen young people, not one participant could remove the nut from the tube. The chimpanzee walked over to the tube, filled it up with water, and grabbed the nut within a few seconds. And Bigfoot must be an awful lot smarter than a chimp. Yet even chimps display a level of problem-solving and environmental awareness that I firmly believe humans have lost. We replaced it with how to operate machines, navigate over complex social structures, and perform singular tasks day after day after day. A point of contention in the assertion that Bigfoot is a hominid, more ape-like, is in the definition of hominin, more man-like. According to paleontologist Dr. Lee Berger, Hominin are apes that are bipedal, have decreased canine teeth, an increased brain size, and went on to contribute to human lineage. Bigfoot certainly isn't a human ancestor because it doesn't act like any human ancestor we know of. All the hominin Dr. Berger is referring to used tools, they used fire, they had clothes. Bigfoot, lacking these human necessities, must therefore be an ape, or hominid. Being upright in itself is not all that unique. Yes, Bigfoot is a biped, but in my opinion, posture really shouldn't indicate hominid or hominin. I suppose it is possible that Bigfoot is a hominin, or more manlike. A while back, I heard an interview, I can't remember what it was about or who it was of, but I distinctly remember someone saying, quote, I asked them if Bigfoot ever used fire. He said, I think they did, before they learned that it gave away their location which gave me goosebumps. Though I think Bigfoot is exponentially more intelligent than any other ape, I still think that they are that. Just apes. Their reaction time and perception puts ours to shame, because they are apes. And that is why Bigfoot is a hominid. But that's just my opinion. And if you happen to know what interview I'm referring to, please let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe, and thanks an awful lot for listening.